All right, so we're gonna start in thunderbolt position where your body is really making nice angles. You can go up on your toes if that feels a little bit better. If you're super flexible, thunderbolt can have split feet and you can sit in between. Ms. Wilson, it's gonna go right here. And then exhale, kind of float your gaze kind of down and your arms. If you're feeling like you don't have enough space, you can have your arms forward. Let's do last one. Inhale. On your exhale, place your palms down to the ground. And come up to your knees. So knees are below shoulders. Nope, knees are below hips, and hands are below shoulders. And as you inhale, drop your head and curl your back. Inhale, round your spine, and then exhale. Tail goes up, belly goes down, head comes up. Inhale, tuck. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, neutral spine, so kind of relax. Go ahead and raise your right hand and kick your left leg back. So opposite, reach. And then from here, you're going to try and bring your elbow to your knee. Tuck. And then extend. Tuck. Extend. One more. Tuck. Extend. Then you place that hand on your neck. Let's try the other side. Reach. And tuck, and then extend, tuck, steady, one more, tuck, and then extend all the way back out. Go ahead and place your hand back down. Let's just put our foot on the ground instead of our knee and come on up into a high plank. Nice and strong, take a big inhale. As you exhale, move into downward dog. Let's take a big inhale and come back to plank. So inhale and sending that body weight forward. Exhale to downward dog. One more inhale, bring it forward. This time as you exhale, go up to downward dog and raise one of your legs. You can open your hip and drop your heel. Big inhale. Exhale, bring that foot back down. Let's try the other side. Bring that leg up. Open the hip if you'd like. One more inhale. Exhale that foot back down. Then go ahead and push back into your thunderbolt. Hands can come to the heart center. 